rivalries are one of the reasons why we all love sports so much. When you think of rivalries, what do you think of immediately? Me, it's Michigan, Ohio State. Magic versus Bird. Celtics, Lakers. Duke against anybody, let's face it. Redskins versus the Cowgirls. I mean, Cowboys. Sorry, Dallas fans, it, it slipped. Psych. Locally, I think of Great Mills, Leonardtown. So it was rivalry renewed on the hardwood as these two went head to head. Let's go to the highlights. No love loss in this season opening game as Raider Nation tried to swat the Hornets and they had the energy early. Sophomore guard Michael Thomas says, I will draw first blood, two to nothing, Raiders. Great Mills answers back immediately. Even with the cheerleader in the shot, senior big man Charles Carrington gets the hoop and the harm. 7-4 Hornets. Raider head coach Dave Holland's like, guys, get some Gatorade, regroup, sip it slow, let's play ball. It works for senior Cortez Bush. Three ball, corner pocket. Bush last seen tossing touchdowns like horseshoes on the gridiron. Moments later, Ryan Rotham, anything you can do, I can do better. 31-30, Great Mills led at the half. Second half, better camera angle now, thanks to my good looking cameraman, Travis Thomas. And thank you, Melquan Williams, for that trifecta. Hornets on top, 42-32. Great Mills turned Leonardtown into the Hornets' nest. Bernal Day tells Demetrius Berry, you are not welcome here. Hornets sting the Raiders, 71-52. Since I've been coaching here, it's the, one, the biggest game of the season. Um, it's great because all the fans come out, pack it out, a lot of enthusiasm. We've had a, really, a lot of really close games with them, and you know, at halftime we were right in the game. They got that little spurt there in the second half, but the rivalry is great. Um, you know, they're, they're well coached, they have a good team, and it's nice to see St. Mary's County display that kind of basketball talent out there. You know, before your first game, you're doing a lot of practices with that game. Sometimes they get a little stale. They get a little tired of pounding on each other. Um, but I think now that we're into the games, the success we had tonight shows them, and I think we can even ratchet that up a little more. We spent a lot of time in the off season, through the summer and through the fall, just uh, having meetings and talking about the mental approach, uh, how, you, uh, how you come into a season as a senior-laden team, responsibilities and the expectations and how to approach the game from a middle standpoint and I thought that really paid off tonight you know we were we didn't make that many mental mistakes physical mistakes you can deal with physical errors you can deal with uh, mentally I thought we were there from the get-go let's ease on down the road to Riken High School where the Knights are quietly becoming a real force to be reckoned with on the hardwood they play in the hardest conference in the country and are projected to be at or atop the conference this season now last season, the Knights didn't fare so well in conference play, but according to head coach Dave Tallman, that's old news, yesterday's paper. I think since last year, we have 12 guys that really do, it's a family bond. Um, this is the most fun I've probably had coaching, including the years, uh, three years ago when it was pretty good. It's fun to go to practice every day. I look forward to it. I needed it uh, after last year, but uh, we have a great group. I think uh, about 85% of them are on the honor roll. Uh, they're just hard workers. None of them have missed, and um, you know they want to win. They want to win. They want to be good, and it, and it shows. It's going to be a fun year. I think the community will love to come out and watch us play. We'll be, we'll get up and down. You'll see some dunks, and uh, we got some shooters, and they've worked really hard. I mean, we've had guys that came here, you know, nine months ago that couldn't even touch the rim that are throwing it down hard now. Uh, the work they've done in the weight room and on the track and, uh, and the plyometrics and things is fantastic. Um, so yeah, we got good athletes. I feel like we're in great shape, and uh, we want to get up and down. Last year we didn't um, we didn't really do well in the conference, but because we didn't we was all new, we didn't play together before. But this year we got a lot of chemistry, some new players, got better players. We just ready to go at it. And my expectation is for our senior, we just got to go at it. I, I see top three in the conference, maybe even number one. We just ready to go at it this year. Well, from last season we added a couple new players, and we got them in here, got them in the gym, and they were actually like leader, leadership roles. We needed a lot of leadership. We didn't have a lot of leadership last year, so a couple of people stepped up for leadership. So we've been working hard and we've been getting in the gym a lot. So our chemistry has developed and I expect us to be at least top five in the conference this year. The game plan is to pretty much bully you. We want to get up and down. We always want to uh, dominate the offensive boards, defensive boards, and we just want to be up in you on defense. 
it starts in practice every day. Work hard, strive for excellence every day. Hold your, hold your teammate accountable for greatness. Now I've witnessed the athleticism of this team firsthand. Let me tell you something. All their kids play above the rim. I found myself making that dunk face several times at their practice. You know the face, Hoops fans, you know what I'm talking about. When someone throws it down, you're just like, whoa, 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 that was nasty. That dunk face. By the way, Riken just beat Bishop McNamara on the road. That's a huge win for that program. So the Knights, off in the right direction. Thank you for watching Southern Maryland Sports Journal with me, dunk face Travis Thomas. Ooh! Exclusively on Metrocast Channel 10. Changing times brings changing needs. That's why for your convenience, Booth's Heating and Air have extended their service hours to 10 hours a day, Monday through Saturday, at regular service rates. Through rigorous training classes and courteous business practices, Booth's technicians always go above and beyond to provide you with award-winning customer service that you can trust. Booth's Heating and Air, serving the Southern Maryland area since 1993.